All right, starting out the day with no bumper. I have to take the vinyl off of this part of the truck and wow, it's fucking beautiful out. I dented this up really bad, which you can't see because it's dirty as hell right now. You might be able to see that. You can see probably that big dent right there. I want the new wrap to look good and I want it to be perfect underneath. I've always been upset about my truck uh, having those dents because it really doesn't have any other imperfections anywhere else. So want to get that fixed. But like I said, first step is getting the old vinyl off. So this is it guys. This is uh, saying goodbye to the dark gray, matte gray primer, whatever you want to call it, wrap on the Dirty Max. My hair dryer is broken. Well, it was never mine. It was my sister's old one. That one's broken. So I'm going to use this gigantic uh, space heater thing to heat that up so that we can peel the vinyl off. Because I can tell you right now at 30 degrees, if I try to peel this, it's just gonna crack and break and it's gonna be a fucking nightmare. So hopefully this works. see what I'm talking about here and now you can see how fucked up it really is look at all these little spider cracks spider web cracks yeah it does not look does not look good so need to get that fixed right away paint coming off there so that was gonna rust it's good that we're doing this Lens all dirty, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That took a lot longer than I thought. That was like an hour job. Um, but anyway, so I'm kind of late now. Get to the body shop. I wanted to get this thing there, you know, as early as possible. The earlier I get it there, the sooner it will be done, and then the sooner it can be wrapped. So I was anxious to get it done. A little bit late, but no big deal. Look how clean his truck is. He never even goes off rubber. I actually give a shit about my truck and I clean it. And somehow, in the five minutes since I left my house, it went from nice and sunny to this horse shit. God damn it. I hate snow. The good news is, however, that the body shop is right over here. to say goodbye to the Duramax, temporarily, but still, it's, it's sad. All right, fast forward two days and the truck is back at home. I have the roof off of the Corvette. This is my, this is my way of being optimistic, hoping that it will warm up, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, anyway, the truck is back at home as you can see the dents are fixed and the paint is done i think it looks great it's pretty much like the whole thing never happened which is of course what we want and uh yeah i think they did a fantastic job this work by the way was done by carl's auto body on mountain road here in harrisburg uh pa but you can see i mean this looks fucking fantastic so the duramax is now fixed and she can be wrapped we still have the bumper off and like I said, I was going to, I used uh, this opportunity to clean up some of the rust that was on the frame rails here. And uh, it wasn't too bad, just a little bit of surface rust here and there, but I put on about four or five coats of the spray paint. A lot of people ask me what I use. I'll just show you guys real quick. 
Um, so I put on like two or three coats of this stuff, and then I put on uh, four or five coats of the uh, rubberized undercoat. And that usually does a pretty good job. Uh, that's what I use on my whole truck. It seems to work pretty well. But um, now that we got both of these things done, we can put on the rear bumper. As soon as the truck is wrapped, we can put on the giant road armor rear bumper that is currently sitting in that box. So that will be very exciting. And uh, the truck should, be, should have a whole new look very, very soon. But anyway, now that the truck updates are out of the way, let's move on to mail time, part three. All right, so we're finally gonna get through this pile here in the third part of mail time that started about two weeks ago. Um, but I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be uh, a lot of license plates, of course, but we shall see, and we're gonna start out right away. We're starting off strong here, and we got a plate from Nebraska. Let's see if there is a note. This is from Ethan. Hey, my name is Ethan, and I'm 22 years old. I noticed you didn't have a Nebraska plate yet, so here it is. I wanted to know your honest opinions of a 2002 Dodge Dakota with a 4.7 liter V8 crew cab. I just bought it six months ago and wanted some feedback. You know, and I'm not just saying this because you sent me a plate, which I appreciate, but the Dakota has always been my favorite small size truck. Why? Because it comes with a V8. Ow. Fucking God. This is from Mason in Iowa City. And let's see the license plate here. It has a note that says, get a motorcycle with a question mark. Um, I used to have a Gixxer. I had a 2006 Gixxer 600 and I love motorcycles. People ask, this all the time, you know, will you ever get a motorcycle? I will not get another one. I laid it down doing about 45 miles an hour. I was a squid, right? I was going to the gym. I had a fucking cut off on and shorts, just like, a, I think it was this pair of shorts actually. And, um, you know, I wrecked and uh, I hit some gravel. I didn't see it around a corner and uh, I went down. It was very painful. That's why I have, you see this, I don't know if you can see that scar there on my arm. But either way, I mean, thankfully I wasn't hurt besides the scar. I say it was very painful, but it was just, you know, it was a, it was a burn and that's about it. Um, but I will never get on another bike. And the reason why isn't because the bike is dangerous. It's because other cars on the road uh, is what's gonna kill you. You know, I don't know anybody with a bike who hasn't been in an accident. And, um, you know, quite frankly, just other cars on the road scares the shit out of me. When I'm in my, I mean, I'm in my gigantic the tank of a truck, right? And I still see people do stupid shit. People don't see me even in that. And it makes me, it just makes me wonder like if I was on a motorcycle in that scenario, would I have been killed? Or like, what do these people do when they, you know, it's just, it's so dangerous because of other people on the road. I will never get another motorcycle, but I still think that they are very cool. Uh, but anyway, thank you Mason for the Iowa license plate. I didn't see a note. Um, except for the get a motorcycle question. So I will not, sorry to disappoint, but I will not be getting a motorcycle anytime soon. A plate from ooh, Wisconsin, that's a nice one. And it's a truck plate, I like that. We got a Camaro on the front. Hey Mike, love the channel, keep up the good work, thank you, I appreciate that. Excellent mods to the Corvette and the Dirty Max. Below is my 95 Z28, I thought it was a Z28, but I didn't want to say that at risk of looking like an idiot. I drove daily through high school, except in those Wisconsin winters, I can understand that. Uh, currently in an auto collision, I would like to get a project car. Any cool ideas? Project car. I don't know. I, for me, I mean, project car, like, you know, you got the Miatas and uh, the other stuff like that, which are great and fun and easy to work on. But I would do, if I was going to get a project vehicle, I would get a truck. So keep that in mind. You can pick up an old Chevy on Craigslist or, or any old truck for like, 2000 bucks and you can have a ton of fun with it. Mike, videos are awesome. Thank you very much. I found your page because of the Duramax. Looking to trading in my uh, 6.0 power stroke for a Dirty Max in the future. Definitely love all the military support you have through decals and videos that is much appreciated. Active duty Navy, thank you for your service and definitely plan on setting, getting a hood vinyl some point soon. Here's a North Carolina plate for your wall. Keep up the hard work, Joe. Thank you, Joe, again for your service and for the North Carolina license plate first and fly. I always love NC plates. Oh my gosh, it's a little license plate. <laughs> Look at that in Arizona. Speak of motorcycles. This is my first ever, by the way, 
motorcycle license plate. Just starting my own bike channel too, so if you could give me a shout out, I'd really appreciate it. Channel name is Moto Musky Man. I'll put it up on the screen. I've got a single video up as of now, but chances are by the time you have your next mail segment, which is <laughs> probably like three weeks ago, so I'm sure you do have more videos up by now. Thanks, Mike. Big fan. Love the Dirty Max. This is from Brad. Hey, Mike. Really enjoy the YouTube channel and, of course, love Corvettes. Thank you very much. I recently moved to North Carolina, so there is no need of keeping four of the same license plates. Hopefully, the two will go the two will go good in your collection. I purchased a 2017 Grand Sport, which led me to your channel. We got two Vermonts. We got the old one, and we got a newer one. I like Vermont plates. I like the color green. Set the notes aside. By the way, I keep all the notes. You guys might see me put them aside, but I throw away the packages, obviously. But I keep the notes and everything else. But I just I got to keep it organized because I got a lot of shit going on here, as you can see. It's from Nigel from Nova Scotia. All right, that's a nice plate and another foreigner plate. I still don't think I still don't really think Canada's foreign, but um, it's awesome. Uh, for sure. I just, I, I like to consider you guys just our northern friends. It's not like you're in a different country. You're just, you're in a different state. Here, Mike, first stumbled upon your channel way back in the day when I was looking for reviews on the new 8-speed automatic Corvette. Been watching the videos ever since. Think you have one of the best car channels on YouTube. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Nigel. Hope you like the plate that is enclosed with this letter and please keep making awesome videos. I plan on it and thank you again for the Nova Scotia plate. Wicked Smot, Massachusetts. This is in a nice like enclosed on this is like a collector's Pokemon card here look at that Mike love the channel pick this up for you at the Boston Auto Show sorry for the shameless plug but would love it if you checked out my channel featuring my blacked out C6 Grand Sport and my Bulldog Stella uh, keep up the awesome work I can only hope to get halfway to where you are well thank you very much Boston Joe here is a screenshot of the very license plate that I now have so thank you Boston Joe for the plate it's a little like sometimes is it a chick I think it's a chicken it's a chicken notepad that I can write stuff on. Well, thank you very much for whoever sent me the Chinese uh, chicken notepad. I do appreciate it, that's for sure. What do you think, bud? Here we have an assortment of things from Paco. We have a slice of paper pizza, which I definitely appreciate. There appears to be a note written on this checkered paper that I can't see, except for it does say his YouTube name is Paco Molina. And we got an American flag key, although there's nothing engraved on it. So I am somewhat disappointed that you don't trust me with the keys to your house. This is from Blake. And it is an Iowa plate that looks like it was in some type of horrible accident. This was dragged along the street, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We can we can just put your guesses in the comments below. Moving right along. This is from Alex in Minnesota, and it's gonna be a Minnesota plate. Here it is. Oh, it's all bent. I don't know if the, I feel like I didn't. No, I didn't do that. Alex uh, from Fair Built Minnesota. Thank you, Alex, for the plate. I do appreciate it. That is for sure. Love the channel. Thank you very much, Brendan. I appreciate it. Enjoy the plate from. Michigan. Wait a minute. I just found this note. It says, hey, Mike, this is my plate off my sister's car that got totaled by a semi-truck on the highway. This is why it's so scratched up. I think this is the... How did the note get all the way over there? But I think this is the note for the for the wrecked one. So it got hit by a semi-truck. I think this is the note. Pretty sure. That would make sense. Mike, I would like to start off by saying that I have not been a long-time viewer or subscriber. Well, then I'm not going to read this. Due to the fact that I just don't have a lot of free time with college, I understand that. Probably goes to Penn State, uh, Harrisburg, maybe. Uh, college work and building my car. With that being said, I have been aware of your videos and seen quite a few and know that you are local to me as I live in Hershey. So this is about his uh, 1995 Miata with 88,000 miles on a hard top, and it is a very nice build. It's, it's a very extensive build. He has a whole multiple pages written about it and you can see here it looks it looks sort of like uh, Evan Shanks Miata although I think that this guy had his uh, first but anyway he was talking about me reviewing the car I, I don't do reviews anymore um, I haven't done one in a very long time but I would definitely be down to meet up and make some type of video I mean you're certainly very close so we could we could have some fun in Mexico potentially with these cars look at that a British Columbia plate my first one from there my name is Jesse love the show saw you didn't have a one of these plates yet. This is off my 1990 Silverado. Awesome. I definitely appreciate that. That's a nice, very simple, but interesting and pretty looking plate there with the flag. I like it. Now I have a big Arizona plate and I have a little Arizona plate. Love your videos and your vehicles, especially your truck. Check out my, my new YouTube channel called Gerlach Fitness if you get the chance. Absolutely. Thank you, Robbie, for the Arizona plate. Another Iowa plate, as you can see, and this one looks there, here's a Kentucky plate. Look at the little smiling sun. That looks like, like, I don't know, like you're 
That's like for adults that still smoke weed and get high. Like here are some plates I had. The Iowa one is from my 90 Chevy. P.S. Didn't know Kentucky was so friendly. I thought that was just a Canada thing. I, don't, I feel like Kentucky, I feel like the South in general is pretty friendly here in America. But um, we do have some people that aren't so friendly. So you gotta be careful. This is my former, I think it says former plate. Wish you a happy new year. Well, thank you very much. I think it's Jerome. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, but thank you very much for the Quebec plate. Mike, here's a tag from the Sunshine State to add to your collection. You'll be happy to know it's off my 2004 Duramax Dually. Oh, just like Andy. Fuck him. Served me well for 10 years. Enjoy, Chris. Thank you, Chris, for the Florida license plate, and I'll put his Instagram up on the screen. Mike, aka StreetSpeed717, you are so awesome, dude. Well, I don't know about that, but thank you. I do appreciate it. Love your YouTube channel. Keep up the great work. Here's a California plate and a Vosin plate, though you might throw away the Vosin one. I don't know. I think they make some, some cool wheels. I just picked up a 2017 C7 Grand Sport, Louis C7 Grand Sport on Instagram. I gotta remember to put the Instagram ones over here so I can put it up on the screen. A Vosin license plate, so maybe you have some Vosin wheels for the C7. I'm sure that looks good. And the plate from California. Ah, oh, God, I love California. For some reason, the California plate is my favorite, even though it's not really exciting in any way. But there it is. Thank you very much for the plate. There's not a note unless it went flying, so I think I can guess that this one is from 1963, because it says there up in the corner. Um, and this one, I don't know, but very cool old California plates. These are, I think, the first like uh, sort of antique plates that I have. Very cool, I like those a lot. We're getting there, boys, we're getting there. We're moving right along. This is mail time, part three, and we are gonna end, we're gonna get through this pile if it's the last thing I do. Indiana, this is Rogue X Pancake. This is the second piece of mail I got from him. I recognize uh, the name because it sounds like a fucking Call of Duty name from back in the day. And the Knights Car Club, that's his, uh, his car club thing. Put it up on the screen as always. But uh, thank you very much again, man, for the Indiana plate. Live free or die, New Hampshire. That's, see, that's, a, that's an awfully violent uh, license plate for New Hampshire. I feel like they're not the most violent people up there. This is from Rust, Rough Roads, Restos in We Are New Hampshire. I'll put the name up on the screen. Thank you very much for the uh, New Hampshire license plate. Got a Utah, two Utah plates. There's the one with the that famous uh, that famous rock thing they had out in Utah. The famous rock thing. I think that's what it's called. Life Elevated. Got two more Utah plates. Thank you, Staley, for the Utah plates. Check this out. This is in the envelope that I almost threw away without seeing it. A little NOS bottle keychain. I like that and a little gated shifter like you get in an Audi R8 or a Gallardo keychain. Those are very cool, I appreciate that. Todd in Wisconsin, we got two more Wisconsin plates, that makes three today. A Kansas plate, and this is from Rusty, and the plate says Rusty, so I like that. Nice little vanity plate there from Kansas. This tag originally came off of a 1984 Camaro Berlinetta. I'm not even sure that's a thing, so hopefully I'm able to read this correctly, and it is in fact a Camaro a Berlinetta. Uh, enjoy the license plate, Rusty. Thank you again, Rusty, for the Rusty Kansas plate. Oh, lovely, our last Chinese package for the day. Don't give a fuck if I rip whatever's inside because it's gonna be stupid. Some type of fake diamond. I don't even know what this is. It's way too big to be a ring. I hope it's not another type of ring. Kevin Brown rookie card. I gotta tell you, I don't know anything about hockey. I've never watched a hockey game in my life. All I have is the shipping receipt, no note, but thank you, Mark, for the hockey card. Here we got an Alaska plate. Oh, I like it. my second Alaska, but I love that one with the grizzly bear on it. And we got another one that says <laughs> LOL MPG. I always, well, I always thought about getting this plate for one of my cars, but that is very cool. 2004 Lightning, Ford Lightning fully built. Those were great. Those, those were cool trucks, the Ford Lightning. They didn't make them very long, but Everyone knows him from Fast and the Furious when Paul Walker had that red one when he first drove to Toretto's shop. But they, those were always a cool truck. Here's some plates to add to the wall that came off the lightning in my old Mustang. P.S. If you're reading this on camera, could you please give, give Hans and Brandon a fuck you for me? Thanks. Hans and Brandon. First of all, Hans. What kind of name is that? And Brandon uh, sounds like a douchebag. Wow, that's very good. We've got a drawing of the Corvette and the Dirty Max with the flag. My flagpole broke, by the way. It's uh, bent going down the road. So I have to get it fixed so I can make my truck look like that again. But here we got the note. And it says, hey Mike, my name is Bryson. I am 11 years old. This is an extremely good drawing for anybody. I mean, well beyond my artistic talent and even better because you're younger. I am 11 years old and I love the videos. Wanted to send you something for a while, but I couldn't figure out what. So it finally hit me. Draw a picture of the Z06 and the Dirty Max. Hope you enjoy them. I definitely do. Stay awesome. 
Bryson. I think that that's your name. Sorry, I'm having trouble reading it, but thank you very much for both of these drawings. This is a solid, Ontario doesn't fuck around with their license plates, I can tell you that. This plate is from a 1976 Cadillac Coupe de Ville I found in a junkyard in my area. I hope you stole it because that would be, because I enjoy encouraging people to do illegal things. As well, have a YouTube channel called Mike YouTuber. My name is also Mike, keep up the great videos. Thank you, Mike, for the Ontario license plate. And luckily there was no note in there because I just totally shredded this. And this is from Manitoba. Look at that. I'm getting all kinds of Canada plates today. 1997 Illinois plate. Those are very nice uh, colors in that one. I know it's Illinois. I just pronounce the S to piss people off. And the more people comment about it, the more I'm going to do it. Thank you, Jacob, for the license plates from Illinois. Another license plate. This is from Shannon. And his Instagram is at Cobra Built. And it's another Iowa plate. I think that makes five today. I don't see a note in here, but thank you, Shannon, for the Iowa plate and a dollar to add to my monies. Jesus Christ, I didn't even look at this. We got a, we got a lot of license plates today. This is from uh, Russell in Texas, and it is another Texas plate. It's like when you work in an office, you put your name tag on this. I wanted to send you one of my two plates. I kept the autograph one by Mr. K that I had on my 2007 Nissan Nismo Edition 350Z. Hope to see it on your wall. I wish you the best for 2017 and look forward to all of your future videos. Russell from Texas. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Last envelope of the day, and it says, I think, from Ivy in Mississippi. And here we go. It is, in fact, a Mississippi plate, NM3062. Ivy Wells from Tupelo, Mississippi, and I noticed you didn't have a Mississippi plate. Thank you very much, Ivy, for the Mississippi plate and being my last mail time person of the day. That is going to do it for this episode of Mail Time. I see we are at 48 minutes there on the camera, so by the time I edit this down a little bit, figure about 15, 20 minute session, hopefully somewhere uh, in there. But I do thank you very much for watching. The Duramax is now painted, the dents are fixed, so it will look nice for the wrap uh, when the wrap goes on over top, and that will be happening. The next video I think you see will be the Duramax getting dropped off. So a very exciting time on the channel. But again, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.